Hey, welcome back. Today, we're delving into a prehistoric world, a time when big creatures ruled the land and fierce hunters battled for supremacy. Among them was the formidable Smelodon, the saber-toothed cat, a legendary predator of its era. But what about the challenges it faced from other powerful predators? Let's explore the contenders who could have taken on the Smelodon and rewritten history. Number 6. Woolly Mammoth The woolly mammoth was a magnificent, large, and iconic species of elephant that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, around 400,000 to 4,000 years ago. They were actually adapted to cold climates and were covered in long, shaggy hair and had impressive curved tusks. When we say large, we mean massive. Woolly mammoths stood at about 11 feet, 3.4 meters, tall at the shoulder and weighed anywhere from 6 to 10 tons, 9,000 kilograms. Their sheer size and strength made them formidable animals that few predators, including the Smilodon, would dare to fight. Despite their terrifying stature, the woolly mammoth was actually an herbivore. This means that they wouldn't technically hunt a Smilodon as prey during their time on the planet. But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't be able to kill the Smilodon with ease. Woolly mammoths, particularly females with young calves, were extremely protective and aggressive if they perceived a threat from any potential predator, including Smilodon. Number 5. American Lion The American Lion, also known as the American Cave Lion, was a large species of lion that also lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 340,000 to 11,000 years ago. Both the American lion and Smilodon inhabited similar environments and shared common prey species. As such, they most likely competed for food resources. Let's discuss what made them a threat to Smilodon. Research has suggested that the Smilodon had a more solitary or semi-social lifestyle, whereas the American lion lived in prides. Think of these two prehistoric wildcats to be the same as the modern-day Bengal tiger and African lion. It stood about four to four and a half feet 54 inches, tall at the shoulder and could weigh up to 700 pounds, 314 kilograms, making it slightly smaller than the Smilodon. But due to the strength the American lion possessed in numbers, they could easily overpower Smilodon. Number 4. Short-Faced Bear The short-faced bear was a prehistoric bear that lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. It was actually one of the biggest known terrestrial mammalian carnivores, standing about 7 feet, 84 inches, tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 3,500 pounds, 1,600 kilograms. This makes it even larger than the largest modern bears, such as polar bears or Kodiak bears. Its name, short-faced, comes from its unique facial structure, featuring our shortest snouts compared to other bear species. Coming back to the Smilodon, Let's talk about why the short-faced bear would pose a major threat to the Smilodon. If these two predators were to meet, first of all, the short-faced bear's sheer size and strength would have given it a distinct advantage in direct confrontations. Since the Smilodon was an ambush predator that relied on its powerful bite to take down prey, on the other hand, the short-faced bear was a more active hunter and pursued its prey relentlessly. Are you enjoying this video? If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Number 3. Giant Hyena The giant hyena was a large and powerful carnivorous mammal that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. The giant hyena stood about 3.6 feet, 1.1 meters, tall at the shoulder and could weigh up to 300 kilograms, 660 pounds. It had a more bear-like appearance compared to modern hyenas, with a short face and powerful forelimbs equipped for holding and breaking bones. In a fight between a giant hyena and a smilodon, the outcome would depend on various factors, including the size and health of each individual, their level of aggression, and the circumstances of the encounter. If a smilodon attempted to scavenge from a hyena kill or venture too close to a hyena den with young, the hyenas could have become aggressive and posed a threat to the Smilodon. Number 2. Dire Wolf The dire wolf was a large species of wolf that, you guessed it, lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch, from approximately 125,000 years ago to around 9,500 years ago. They were one of the largest known canids, even larger than most modern-day wolves. 
On average, adult werewolves stood about 3 feet, 91 centimeters, tall at the shoulder and had a body length of around 5.5 feet, 168 centimeters. Estimates suggest that they weighed close to 150 pounds, 68 kilograms. So what makes them dangerous to the Smilodon? Same as the American lion, the direwolves were social animals that lived and hunted in groups. Their pack hunting behavior allowed them to take down larger prey and work together to bring down formidable animals. When a pack of derwolves encountered a Smilodon, they could have used their numbers and coordinated attacks to overwhelm and potentially kill the saber-toothed cat. Number 1. Homotherium The Homotherium, commonly known as the scimitar-toothed cats, was another species of saber-toothed cat that lived during the Pleistocene epoch. Similar to the Smilodon in terms of appearance, the Homotherium had shorter saber teeth compared to Smilodon, but they were still longer and more curved than those of modern cats. Homotherium was generally slightly smaller than Smilodon, with an average height of around 3.5 feet, 110 centimeters, at the shoulder and a weight ranging from 400 pounds, 180 kilograms. The Homotherium was a swift and agile predator, and its ability to make quick slashing attacks could have been challenging for Smilodon to counter effectively, especially if caught off guard. The Homotherium's tactics of causing multiple slashing wounds might have allowed it to wear down Smilodon or other large predators over time, potentially gaining an advantage in prolonged confrontations. In conclusion, our journey through the prehistoric world has revealed a captivating array of formidable predators that could have challenged the legendary Smelodon. These ancient battles for dominance and survival have left an indelible mark on Earth's history. As we wrap up our exploration, remember that the past is a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Stay curious, and who knows what other thrilling adventures in the world of knowledge lie ahead. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel.